today is the 98th birthday of charlie munger the friend and co-investor of warren buffett i wanted to share a small story with you today and a piece of research one statistician studied the game of tennis and one investment writer also studied it what they came to the conclusion was that there were two types of games in tennis there was a winner's game and there was a loser's game the professionals the champion players were winning were playing the winner's game while the amateurs were playing the loser's game what does this mean the professionals were well matched they were the excellent people they had speed they had spin they had the angles they uh, knew how to return they were long rallies and the difference was centimeters the points won by the professionals were won because of winners that they were hitting on the amateurs game there were very short rallies there were frequent mistakes frequent double faults in the amateur game the winner was the one who was making his opponent lose or make errors so the opponents made errors and led to the amateur winning so there were two games within tennis the winners game and the losers game charles ellis spoke about it in his book uh, on investments as well and warren buffett and charlie munger have also spoken about this winners game and the losers game Charlie says invert always invert it's a mathematician's concept from Carl Gustav Jacobi the famous mathematician from Europe basically what charlie said that we have made so much money by avoiding being stupid rather than pursuing being brilliant so he said first try to uh see where all can you go wrong try and avoid mistakes and the investment returns will take care of themselves warren buffett offers uh, a very famous story with his teacher his mentor benjamin graham the father of value investing the author of the intelligent investor so warren buffett used to have this buffett group Uh, which would be which would be made up of co-investors and uh, people interested in the investing philosophies they would meet and discuss one day benjamin graham walked in and benjamin graham gave them a quiz the quiz had 20 questions the answers were just true or false and benjamin graham told them 10 of these are true 10 of these are false you attempt these questions Warren Buffett says that all of them attempted this questions most of them got less than 10 marks on the quiz he says even though benjamin graham had told us that 10 are true and 10 are false all we needed to do was either attempt 20 true or mark 20 as false and each of us would have got 10 out of 20 assured but we tried to be smart we tried to be brilliant we said we can solve it and we got less than 10 on the quiz he says we kept doing such experiments it was a big learning for us especially this was in 1968 when there were a lot of accounting gimmickry a lot of uh, problematic accounting being done by companies we used to think we can play uh, the winners game by just riding on such companies and then we realized this was the losers game that we were playing such a fantastic lesson for life from such a simple game a quiz with 20 questions 10 are false 10 are true you are asked to attempt it if only you were inverting if the, your motto was invert always invert you would say let me get 10 out of 20 and the rest will take care of itself and you would have topped that class very great lesson in simplicity and in daily life uh, let's try and imbibe such lessons 
this is the investment lesson number two that I have put in front of you today. All the very best. Congratulations to Mr. Charlie Munger on his 90th birthday and we wish him a century and more of life on this world and we hope to keep learning from his writings and his statements. Thank you very much. Do subscribe to the channel and do, uh, uh, do press the notifications button so you will get a notification whenever a new video has been put on the channel. Thank you.